sneak peek. Welcome back to the channel, everybody, to the world's worst fishing. It's been a long time since we've had some beer on here. We are feeling better uh, ever since uh, recovering from the virus. And um, I've actually had to wait a while to do this video. I've had, I've had this, uh, this um, clamp for a couple of weeks, but just wasn't able to, you know, the, the, the virus was, was, was pretty bad. So I had to put this one off, um, but I'm excited to finally be here. I had to pick up an air compressor and a few little parts, um, but uh, man, this thing is cool. I just got it set up a few hours ago, um, tested it like once or twice. I haven't actually run any baits through it, but um, this is super cool. You definitely want to stay tuned for this video. We're going to be uh, showcasing and demonstrating a, a, a hydraulic air clamp specifically designed to clamp together molds for soft plastic bait makers. Um, I mean, golly, does it get any cooler than that? Just the evolution of the home bait making industry just keeps getting better and better. And, uh, you know, I'm certainly not the first person to have one of these clamps. They've kind of been around for a year, year and a half. Um, just that I've seen may, maybe longer, but a lot of guys that like to run production are starting to use these. So let's go ahead and take a look. We'll talk about which companies uh, air vice I have and we'll look at some features and then we will start running some baits. Fishing all out. Awesome guy, Kyle, um, you know, he and I have kind of built a relationship and uh, he's got some great ideas. Uh, for the home bait making market that that uh, that he's working on and one of the things that he excels at is making these clamps you know I mean we, we have these two different rails here this is a full size this is a 24 inch rail uh, it's it's actually quite overkill for me personally uh, if you watch my channel you know I don't have just 50 molds of the same thing I, I'm not really running production anymore um, but I really wanted to showcase one of these. You know, when, when Kyle sent this to me, I said, this is just awesome. Uh, so we're gonna go into a few details here and a little, talk a little bit about uh, setup and some of the things that you'll need. And then we're gonna start getting, um, getting some demonstration going. And again, this particular vice is made by Fishing All Out. He is online. Uh, you can also find him on Facebook. Uh, I believe his website is fishingall-out.com. Uh, it's it's been like a couple hours since I since I went to his website, um, but anyway, you 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 can find him easily. And uh, what's really cool is that these are not just something that he keeps in stock lying around the house. There's very much a custom aspect to it. You can get you know I mean you, he he can build you just a single rail. He can change the length. You know you can get a, a 20 inch, a 24 inch. He's even made a 36 inch for somebody really running a ton of stuff so down below <clears throat> on my lovely garage floor you can see i have an air compressor and it looks brand new because it is i literally bought this thing like today um, what's what's really cool about this one if you notice quiet tech this thing is very 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 quiet um, now we are going to keep it down here below the table just to try to keep noise down um, but basically any sort of air compressor like this works. And uh, you know, this, this is just a, a simple little um, connection here. You just quarter inch, just throw it right in there and, uh, and, and you're good to go. And so basically, you know, this air clamp just runs off an air compressor. So let's say you um, have an air compressor, may, maybe you do some airbrushing, paint some lures, you can probably use that. This one was recommended to me simply because of its um, uh, quiet. I mean, that's, that, that's the whole thing. You don't want a bunch of noise in your shop and for my purposes, for when I'm filming. All right, is that not a beautiful sight? Look at this madness here. So now we're just gonna give a little quick demonstration. And by the way, setup on these things is absolutely easy. Um, the, the actual blue hose that it, that it, that it comes with, um, you literally just push it. Oop, sorry, way out of focus there. You just push the blue hose into this little black tab and it, it locks in. Um, so there's, there's really nothing to it. I had to buy this piece right here. Oops, that piece right there. 
this one uh this piece right here this brass part with the um with with the uh, connector tab there that black tab came with it but i bought this piece it was like a dollar and a half it's just a little quarter inch female um female part that goes just like that so now we're going to turn on this compressor okay and uh you can hear it's very quiet I, I don't know how well my microphone is or is not going to pick this up but it's very quiet and we're not even at, at full psi yet but i'm just going to show you what this does here's actually the switch you just pull it out there you go these molds are absolutely tight as can be you're, you're not going to flash and um you know once that compressor turns off it's going to hold that that air for a long time and uh i mean it's it's just so cool i i could just watch this all day it's so neat what's really fun is to is to uh let it push your mold together <laughs> i don't know why that's just so amazing but it is and um this is pretty much what what you do and what's really neat is that he also makes chili plates and we're going to talk about those right now so this giant aluminum plate that you see has a few connections here, here and there. This is actually what's called a chill plate. And these kind of started um, as a tool for bait makers to be able to cool molds down faster, okay? So this is actually an extremely large example. Um, but one thing that Kyle makes are chili plates that actually go in between your molds, that actually run water through them. So the more and more times that you run your molds obviously the hotter they're going to get well the hotter they get the longer it takes to demold the whole purpose of a system like this is for time efficiency and so these chili plates actually run water into a piece of aluminum that actually gets clamped in between your molds to cool your molds down as you go so what it does is it decreases the amount of time between potential uh, injection runs. Now this one he made kind of custom for me. As you can see, it's huge. It's not really meant for this clamp system. However, it's meant for my open pores. So a lot of times, you know, whenever I'm taking my open pores off the griddle and my molds are super hot, well, you, tr you want to cool them down as quickly as possible without making the plastic draw in. So now I actually have a huge aluminum plate the aluminum is going to draw the heat out, but now I can run water through it using the same exact hoses that these things come with. I can actually run water through it using a water pump, okay? Just something like that. Simple, simple. I mean, basically, fill up a five-gallon bucket, not your plastic buckets, but just fill up a five-gallon bucket. You can choose to chill the water with ice or just room temperature water and run it through this plate and that's going to further draw out heat from your molds you can use something like this to cool off injection molds of course so this is a really neat tool and uh, i've already actually used it um, to cool down open pores because you know these molds come off the griddle and they're super hot and hey if i can cool them down faster that's going to save time yeah so i'm on his website fishingall-out.com and here is the one that we are demonstrating today. This is the 24 inch air vise. So we'll look at a few pictures. Obviously it's, <laughs> we don't need pictures. It's right below us. Um, but anyway, so you can go to the website here and uh, read about it. You can also contact him to kind of actually have one custom built. Uh, so what, what we've done here is we've gotten out a bunch of worm molds. So these are all of my bass tackle molds. So I have a bass tackle um, finesse worm mold here. Okay, this one's been on the channel a ton. All right, so we have quite a few cavities in that. We have our seven inch ribbon tail worm here. Oops, bumping the camera. All right, also from bass tackle. This is my favorite ribbon tail worm ever. And, and I don't just mean mold, I mean ever. And then we also have the exact same thing in this mega size mold for cavity nine inch version of it so quite a few molds to play with here and um these these stack nicely um you know they're, they're the same height some molds are just shaped oddly and they're and it's going to be a little bit more difficult to clamp a bunch of them together with other molds however these i can run a bunch of different stuff at once now 
we just need to mix out a ton of plastic and make some baits. So that is a four cup Pyrex and we have our dead on plastic worm blend here. We actually don't have a whole lot left so I'm just gonna kind of just dump it in there. So yeah that's that's about right. We have I don't know maybe another four cups left in there but um, that should certainly give us enough to play with. Well I am super excited about these clamps. However while the microwave is heating up I wanted to show you guys my new hat. So I added a few uh, World's Worst Fishing hats to our Teespring account. You can find that down below. That's where you can get uh, uh, some of our shirts. Uh, we sell some stickers uh, because bait makers like to put stickers on microwaves. And if you're a fan of the channel, you can have a World's Worst Fishing sticker, help support us. Uh, but the one thing that I was missing were hats. So I have this hat right here nice uh, really nice embroidery actually I, I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out I'm not that familiar with all the Teesprings products but uh, I have it in black like this and navy and uh, they're super cool check them out if you want to help support the channel we would always appreciate it okay a giant cup of some worm blend there um, all right we're gonna make a really sexy color this could be today's color of the day, I guess, because it's the only color of the day. I don't know, we might do some laminates. Watermelon Blue by MF is absolutely gorgeous. So we're just gonna load this thing up. It's like a watermelon with some blue highlight. Absolutely, oh my God, do y'all see that? Y'all see that? And, uh, and since we're just gonna start with just a big bulk solid color like this, I wanted it to be something pretty special and look at that now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get some large size black flake this is 0 0.062 and that's it we're gonna keep it simple sometimes like a little accent color like some small silver or some small blue would really complement this well but we're just gonna go with large black flake <coughs> Just to keep things simple, I think this will look really, really, really nice once we uh, kind of get it, get it mixed in there, yeah. And plus, just something like that makes a nice worm color since we're really only running this color in worms. All right, we are ready to rock. Have y'all ever seen a better opportunity for the good old Mondo injector? We are gonna give it a shot. Uh, we have our plastic ready over here looking gorgeous and uh, we're going to kind of set the camera up from an angle so that you can see the whole work table and here we go. All right, let's get them clamped. Oh, that's just so neat. Here we go. Glove up, give our plastic a stir. Get ready for the Mondo action here. It's going to drain this cup. Oh my lord. Okay, here we go. First ever baits run through this thing. Ugh. Now we're over here on the finesse worms. What's cool about this clamping system is that you never have to worry about knocking your molds over by accident or them tipping over and spilling plastic. I mean, once you lock them in, they're, they're there. They're not going anywhere. Heck yeah. That was awesome. All right, now we're gonna release. And uh, basically now we can take these out. Um, so, you know, we've given them a minute or so. So they're, they're probably done. All right, let's grab the first mold here. I think it goes this way. And of course, drum roll please. Let's see how we did. This watermelon blue is usually pretty spot on and it is. Simple color, nothing to it. Let's take a quick look. 
Oh yeah, look at that. You can see the interference effect of the uh, blue highlight powder. Gorgeous color there. Look at that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Got to stop and smell the roses when you pull out a, uh, a, good, a good color. So anyway, we're going to uh, lay those aside and go on to the next one. This is what's cool about this is uh, just all the molds lined up. Yeah. Next round there. Gorgeous color. Super simple. If you haven't checked out Blue Watermelon, uh, definitely uh, try it. You can also just mix it up yourself. Take your favorite watermelon color and some blue highlight or Dead on Plastics Opaline Blue uh, color and make your own Blue Watermelon. Here it is in the seven inch. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, just kind of <clears throat> start running through them here real fast. Yeah, looking good. Now we'll get on to the uh, finesse worms here. These are always super, super cool. Huh. Oh thing kicked back on yeah look at that okay so have the plastic reheating and for this next round we're only going to do our ribbon tails okay so we actually need to adjust right because those aren't going to go all the way so we need to kind of scooch these forward and then now we need to adjust okay so basically you just take an allen wrench you loosen these um these these bolts here with it all right and this is kind of how you adjust one of these things. And now, you know, there are um, a couple other guys running these. You know, I, I don't know all the particulars of those per, uh, particular clamps, but this one, you just loosen up some Allen wrenches, okay? And then we can adjust. And you know, it, it might seem like you have to loosen a bunch of bolts here and that it takes time, but what's good is that this is super secure and um, you're not going to, you know, you're, you're, that, that's never going to move. So because that there's eight, eight points here, I think is actually quite a good thing. So we've got them all loosened up and we can just kind of tilt this a little bit. That seems to be the best way. Yeah, there we go. All right. Just like that. And then we'll uh, just give them a quick tighten. You know, I didn't actually loosen them all that much. You know, obviously, you know, just get you a good drill with the right bit on it. You can do this much, much, much faster. You actually don't have to tighten them very hard. You know, just a couple, just whatever your finger strength is uh, so far has worked. And uh, these will be nice and secure. All right, now we're going to go to the next round. That's so cool. No Mondo injector for this one. All right, next round here. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll just show you maybe one or two of these since you've technically already seen this. Oops, get the, uh, get the mold up in there. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Yeah. Grass grenade is kind of one of those odd shaped molds, right? It's not long, so Technically, if you just want, let's say you had a bunch of grass grenades, or you just wanted to do three grass grenades, well, they, they just barely bridge the divide between the two rails, but you can actually just do one rail. So if you were, you know, basically you can just use half of it and use it like it would be a one rail clamp. So basically push these off, scooch that up, and then now you can basically use it as one rail. This one over here really doesn't do anything. However, these just barely fit, okay? And um, we can tighten this down, and then we are ready to clamp. All right, here we go. Let's clamp them. Super cool. And you can see that that's just kind of on the edge of that, but, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, this thing, 
you know, those molds are not wiggling out of place. It's moving the whole thing and it weighs a ton. Um, so, you know, even, even though it's kind of partial, the fact that you have two on it, um, man, it's just solid as a rock. So like I said, these are all AI molds. We're gonna mix up a new color and we're gonna hit you with that. I think it's gonna be super cool. Here comes some Okeechobee Crawl. All right, Okeechobee Crawl. We have a green pumpkin with medium black flake and a blue with medium black flake. This is MF Dark Watermelon. This is Lureworks Thalo Blue. Well, it's dark out now, so we might not be able to see color quite as well, but there is our sort of Okeechobee Crawl uh, grass grenade there. And I actually did not get quite as much saturation as I wanted. I would actually want um, the, the uh, green pumpkin side um, a little more rich and the blue, but uh, we, we got close. We were, we were um, mixing things up in a hurry because you know we kind of wanted to focus more on the molds. So um, anyway, still absolutely stunners there. And uh, let's take a look at some of the other ones. Let's take a look at one of these uh, punch crawls here. Oh yeah, look at that. The, the one thing that I love the most about the way that MF Dark Watermelon interacts with this blue is that you get sort of that aqua turquoise green color there. Is that not something else? I mean, does that not just make life worth living? Absolute stunners there. Yeah, really nice laminates. See, and this mold is one that has been a little prone to flashing. Um, using old school clamps no flashing on that so this is where this will benefit me personally is just having that added pressure I can really really run these molds um, and not really have to worry about flashing and the other punch bug came out absolutely perfect as well no flashing whatsoever super cool color there Love that kind of turquoise that you get. All right, and here are the jerk baits. Look at that. Super cool. Oop. You get it in focus there. Yeah. So, really beautiful color. So, now the question, like every other video on this channel, which ones have been your favorites? All right, so uh, again, it is nighttime, so I apologize for less than optimal lighting. The lighting was definitely better when we started. And we still had some uh, sunshine creeping in. But really good run of baits. Look at those tails. Absolutely love that color. So uh, yeah, how about it? That clamp is absolutely amazing. And uh, we will definitely uh, use some of the uh, chiller plate, um, uh, ch ch chiller plates and, and that big one uh, in some future videos. I just... I need, I need an extra hose for it. I didn't want to cut the hose that I had um, because it's pretty long and I want to, I don't want to eventually be able to put the uh, air compressor that's hiding down there uh, further away from the table. I kept it close just so that I could film it. Um, so anyway, I'll get an extra hose and then we will do some chiller plate uh, footage. I have some cool ideas for that. But uh, anyway, of course, please comment down below which ones were your favorite. All right, everybody, we are going to wrap this video up. I'm sure dinner's waiting on me. Um, wow, what, what a fun video. Um, just super, super impressed um, with, with that clamp. You know, I, I've seen plenty of guys um, running them, and I've always been like, that's super cool. It, it just it wasn't something that I personally needed necessarily. Um, I, I think anyone who wants to run any sort of volume um, something like that is really going to be your best friend you know filming today obviously i'm you know going slow to film to make sure that i have my thoughts together um so that i can uh talk to you guys so you know as far as me really <coughs> realizing its potential as far as speed goes you know i i simply haven't done that filming you're never going to go as fast as when you're not filming um so wh whenever i come out here and i just want to run a bunch of stuff um, that thing is really, really going to uh, show its worth. Not that it didn't tonight, um, but filming, you know, obviously I'm, I'm having to go slow for obvious reasons to make sure that I'm getting the camera angles right and, and the shots that I want. But um, amazing, super easy to set up. Um, 
you know, g give Kyle a call. He'll, he'll, uh, he'll definitely work with you on size and options. If you're interested in something like this, I, th I think it's super cool. I love seeing this hobby progress. And this is an absolutely awesome tool for the home bait maker. Line up a bunch of cavities. You're not going to flash. Um, it's, it's, it's just, it's going to save time. Uh, clamps like these, oops, like I've been using, they, they wear out. Um, they don't always clamp as, as firm as you want. Sometimes you get flashing. Sometimes the clamps slip. Um, with this thing right here, you never have to worry and you will not knock your molds over. We're rambling, so we're going to get out of here. Thank you all for watching this video and uh, supporting the world's worst fishing. We will catch you all next time.